Hello, uh, today we're going to go over a, a new idea. We're going to make a, what's known as a bacon explosion and uh, we'll see how that comes out and we'll show you the ingredients. Here's the ingredients that we're going to put into our explosion. So we have two pounds, two and a half pounds of Italian sausage and then I have this plastic uh, one on each side of it so that we can flatten this out. Purchased two pounds of bacon I fried up some of the bacon um, to make crisp it up and that to put on the inside. I have some celery there's our crisp bacon. Here's um, half a pound of linguiça sausage cubed up and fried. Here's some chorizo. Um, bell peppers I have green, red, onions a little bit and then I have about half a pound or three quarters of a pound of cheese, your choice, whatever we do. So the next step will be just uh, we're going to roll this out and then we'll end up making a lattice bacon wrap that will go on the outside of this. But we'll roll this about a half inch to three quarters of an inch thick and then roll it up like a cinnamon roll. We'll add the ingredient and all that on top. I'll show you. We didn't have a rolling pin but I thought this bottle of wine might work beautifully to roll and uh, maybe we can consume some of this beverage for our meal. So what we'll do is we'll roll this out and we're trying to get about three quarters of an inch thick, something like that, maybe a half inch and we we'll want to roll it rectangular in shape. Okay. When we're done, let's just pull the paper on the one side or the plastic, just like so and we'll start to add our ingredients. Um, we're going to roll this kind of like a cinnamon roll. So we'll start out with this side right here and we'll spread out our sausage here all the way over. Just kind of like so and leave the last one quarter of this rolled out here so that when we roll this cinnamon roll over we'll have a nice smooth surface here to attach to the roll. Put some bacon in here. Kind of nice and yummy. Okay, here's this. A little bit of celery. Some red bell pepper. Some green bell pepper. Lots of color in this. We'll put some onion. A little bit of chorizo. We'll put some cheese in it here your choice the cheese so this is provolone and the last thing I have is some homemade barbecue rub and I just want to liberally rub this right here and then we'll roll this up so what I want to do is grab this and I may have to pull the plastic to help roll it. There's so much in here. And you're just going to have to kind of force it along. Take your time. You can kind of see how that rub is here. And keep compressing it. Just slowly work it. Keep working it. Keep working it. And then shape, shape that on the very ends. Try to close it in. Doing your bacon wrap, what we want to do is we put this plastic down. And you can use wax paper or whatever you want. Just uh, something to, to help you roll up uh, <coughs> your bacon wrap. So what we're going to do is lay seven of these down this way and then we'll lace in 
our other uh, bacon here. I'll finish this and we'll show you the next step. Okay, doing our weave, just pull back. You start out with your strips here and then uh, alternate, pull back every other one. And we'll do that. And then we'll lay another piece up against that for a nice tight weave. Throw this back and just keep going. Alternating your weave. Then pull this back. And just keep going. Your basket weave, we need now to put into the, the filling in the middle here. So, here's this. And what we want to do is work it this way and carefully just roll it up, kind of like that. And then we'll set it in the fridge and let it firm up a little more before cooking. Okay, I just pulled it out of the fridge and uh, we're preparing it to put into the smoker right now. I have it on the rack and I have one of these uh, non-stick Q-mats here so it help to remove it from sticking to the grill. And uh, smoke it for three to four hours till the internal temperature is 160 degrees. And we'll leave cool for about 15 minutes before slicing. Here's the finished product after we removed it from the smoker. The internal temperature is 162 degrees. So what I'm gonna do is we'll take a slice from the middle and then I'll show you the finished product. So here we go. I let it rest for 15 minutes before cutting so it retains all the juices. And here's our finished product right here. Looks wonderful. Now, I think I'm gonna try a bite. Just a little shaving here. I wanna see, look at that. I just want to see how good it is. Mmm. Wonderful. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Comment, rate, and subscribe.